Good morning, boys and girls. Today in reading, you are reviewing main idea and details. So I pulled up this graphic to help you review what it meant before you get to put these skills to use. Um, so we are kind of introducing a topic today. We've talked about it before, but we haven't really went into detail about it. So the topic is one or two words to describe what the whole text is about. A lot of times you can think of the topic kind of like, what would you title the text? In very short, one or two words, tell me what's the whole text about. Then you look at the umbrella, which is the main idea, and it is the statement that tells the most important thought about the topic. So you have your topic, right? What the whole text is about. Then you have your main idea, which is gonna be like one, maybe two sentences, telling me the most important part about the topic. Then lastly, you can see our raindrops coming off of the main idea. Those represent our supporting details. They're facts, examples, or specific details that support and help to describe the main idea. So you start out at the rain cloud and you go from broad to really specific all the way down to the raindrops. Your topic is gonna give you the least information, right? It's just gonna be one or two words about what our story is about. Then your main idea is gonna be one sentence about what the whole text is mostly about or what the most important part of the topic is. Then you're gonna give me multiple supporting details to tell me why the main idea is the most important part, right? You need to support your main idea with very specific details. So I am going to go ahead and pull up your assignment to kind of walk you through it and show you. Um, so when you get to Schoology, you'll click on your reading course and then you will scroll down and find this week, which is the 14th through the 18th. It's the last week before Christmas break, it is crazy. You will click on Wednesday. You will have a main idea song in here, which you can listen to. It is a fun way to help you remember what the main idea is and remember how to find the main idea. You then um, have this video right below that. And the main idea and details will be the very last assignment you see. So when you click on that, I would suggest clicking on the blue words at the top to pull it up in a new tab to make it bigger and easier to see. You may not need that and that's totally fine. <clears throat> So once it loads, you will see main idea and details at the top. You have one paragraph to read, and then you're going to pick the main idea of the paragraph and a supporting detail. You don't have to pick multiple, just one. Then you're going to read another paragraph, pick the main idea and a supporting detail. And lastly, you have a sort. You have one main idea, one topic, and three supporting details, and you need to sort them. Well, the topic is only one to two words, so you can kind of already tell that Scorpion Adaptations is going to be the topic. And the way you sort them is just click down and click what they are. But guess what? I told you you only have one topic, so should there be more than one in this topic? No, there shouldn't. And you shouldn't have more than one in your main idea either. And then you're going to have three supporting details. A way to think about it is you already know your topic's only two words. So that's the easy one, right? Your main idea is going to be what the whole text is about. So it's not gonna be very specific. Then your supporting details are going to support your main idea or back it up. So they're gonna be more specific and you should have one main idea and three supporting details. When you're done, you'll click hand in work and you should automatically get some feedback on how you did. If you have any questions, feel free to message any of your teachers and we will be absolutely happy to help. Cannot wait to see you guys later.